guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today we will talk about Adobe Dimension CC and I would like to share with you my project I created for my client. So guys, let's start. As you can see, I have opened my Adobe Dimension CC and here I have opened a starter assets a library and I have highlighted my uh, models library. I will scroll this library down just like this and here I have my first 3D object I would like to work with today. I will click on it and voila. I will switch to select and scale tool and I will resize my 3D object. I will click on this uh, purple um, icon and I will resize proportionally my 3D object. Now I will click on same 3D object but I will uh, switch to select and move tool and I will bring this object on top of my first object. I will switch to select and scale tool and I will resize this object as well just like that. Now I will click uh, on same object again. I will switch to select and move tool and I will bring my as uh, my uh, model on top of two other uh, models. Here guys, as you can see, uh, I have my Creative Cloud library open where I have all uh, 3D objects I downloaded from uh, Adobe Stock. And by the way, all those 3D objects are free. So I downloaded free 3D objects from uh, Adobe Stock. And here I have vintage perfume a bottle I would like to work with today. I will click on this button, uh, bottle and voila. I will switch to select and move tool and I will bring this a bottle up just like that also I will move it slightly to the uh, right now I'm very happy with my composition time to apply uh, materials to all 3d assets I will select my first 3d asset I will switch to my material uh, library it's default um, library and here I have very nice glass materials I would like to work with today I will click on my first um, uh, material I would like to work with a red glass material just like that. I will click on my second asset um, and I will uh, apply another material um, maybe um, purple glass just like that and my third um, model I will apply probably let's see blue glass just like that. How beautiful is it? If you will click on um, show uh, hide render preview you will be able to sh uh, open a render preview window where you will be able to preview your um, uh, project in real time so if you will expand it and you will give a few minutes uh, to dimension to analyze your uh, project you will be able to preview your um, rendering in real time just like that now time to apply material to our beautiful vintage bottle. I will select my uh, vintage bottle and in my uh, scene um, panel I have highlighted my vintage perfume bottle. Also I have three other tabs. Um, if I will click on my first tab and I will expand it um, I will I will be able to apply material to uh, the top of my bottle. So let's see what I will uh, apply, what material I will apply. Probably something gold. Yes, let's apply a uh, damage gold material just like this beautiful. Now I will select my uh, uh, bottle, uh, bottom of my bottle and I will apply gold material to my uh, bottle. How beautiful is it? And the last one. Uh, object and I will apply something very unusual um, maybe title yes I mean a tile yes 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 very very beautiful um, you can see um, a quick uh, render uh, in render preview window so beautiful so guys I'm happy with everything, but I would like to apply kind of very elegant background. I have uh, two options. I can bring um, any image and apply this image as my background uh, image. Or if I will click on environment and I will click on background uh, color icon, I will be able to apply color to my background. So I will switch to black color 
just like that and voila i have a very beautiful uh background if i will expand it a uh, quick render preview i will be able to preview my quick render in a real time just like that just look guys how beautiful is it uh i will apply another um a light to my image here i as you as you can see i switched to default light library where i have many many different options i have different lights i can apply to my uh, image let me click to this one yes i love 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 it and also guys um I'm able to modify my uh, light. I am able to customize my light. So what I will do, I can bring intensity of my light um, 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 up or down. It's up to me. I like something in the middle. Also, I can rotate my light. Let's see. Just like this. No, maybe I will move just like this let's see yes i like it a lot and maybe intensity of my light perfect i love it but let's work on rotation yes this is what i was uh, looking for i love it a lot um also you can add a sunlight if you like i don't want to apply any sunlight to my uh, image today so i will uncheck this box and maybe I will uh, change rotation of my light. Yes, something like that. So, guys, this is uh, my project. Time to render uh, my project. What I will do, I will click on render. I will specify a uh, quality. Definitely, um, I want a high quality. It will be slower than... Um, a medium or a low uh, quality but it's okay uh, i always prefer to have a high quality of my rendering um export file name uh vintage a vintage project very uh, easy to remember and i will specify location i will specify location to my desktop and also guys of course i would like to have my final um rendering file as psd file because if i would like to finish working on my project in photoshop i will have all my layers available for any modification i will click render and voila i will give uh um dimension few time to analyze and style, start start uh, rendering um, my project and after um dimension will finish working on my rendering i will be able to share this project with my client so guys thank you very much i hope you like this tutorial if so if so subscribe to my channel if you have any questions just ask i will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions thank you guys and i will see you later bye